Now let's let's talk a little about Babe Ruth. And you know when we talk about Babe Ruth, I always bring up he won three rings as a pitcher with yes. the Red Sox. He had 94, 94 wins as a pitcher, 2.28 ERA, seven-time world champion. So he also won four championships with the Yankees. My point about Babe Ruth is the goat of goats, and I'll tell you why. Because he was a pitcher, and, and then he, he was an outfielder. That would be like Wayne Gretzky winning three championships as a goalie, and then going on and breaking all the offensive records. So as far as the goats, Babe Ruth is a goat, Tom Brady in football, Michael Jordan, and Wayne Gretzky. But some people say maybe it might be Bill Russell, the goat in basketball Russell. also. But uh, as far as Babe Ruth, do you agree with that? He's the goat of goats because of that? I do because everybody's heard the name Babe Ruth. Yeah. If you're not a baseball fan, everybody has heard, this, has heard about the name at some point. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, because I used to like watching documentaries about him. He wanted to be a manager so bad, and it would, couldn't get an opportunity, especially from the Yankees. No, I don't think he would. But you would think to. a lower team would say, just for the sale. Well, even like a minor league team. I think he had a chance, and I think he turned down a minor league right, chance but, to manage. I, but I know, but minor leagues, Babe Ruth, you'd think a, a team in the uh, bottom of the stand would say, let's bring him in just for ticket sales. Oh, yeah, exactly. So That'd there nice. had to be something going on there. Uh, you know, own. I'm not saying collusion, but so what? You know, he, he, you know, we know how we used to party, Babe Ruth. We knew, yes. So, so I don't think what? George Steinbrenner, if George Steinbrenner oh, owned the Yankees at the time, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have approved it. Right, you know, he would uh, and, uh, and Babe Ruth had a World Series record from 1918. It lasted until 1961 when Whitey Ford broke it. In the 1918 World Series, the Babe pitched 29 in the third scoreless inning. So he was on his way to the Hall of Fame as a pitcher. He was, well, back then, teams only carried maybe three or four pitches.